Hey, it's Jeremy here. I want to be showing you how to use clipping masks in Illustrator CC. Clipping masks are awesome, especially if you're doing like texturing, brushwork, illustrations, effects, gradients, whatever it is. Um, you can create clipping masks and it's going to make your overall designs more professional, more cleaner, more organized, and you'll become a better designer from it. So I'm going to show, to show you um, how to make a clipping mask. Um, first up, I've got this badge here. And what I want to do, I'm just going to break it apart and show you what I've done. So I'm just going to drag this out. You can see I've got a texture, I've got a clipping mask of a, the sunburst, um, even I've got a pattern as well of the shape, and the rest are just the shape of the badge logo I did. So you can see, you can put it in any shape you want, um, it can be a circle, square, whatever it is, it can be a complex shape, doesn't matter, um, that's what a clipping mask allows you to do, it allows you to have control over what you're um, putting into shapes and objects, so it's really sweet, really cool, and I'm going to show you how to create one. So what I'm going to do, we've got a gradient and a texture here. I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to put it within this square shape. So I'm just going to press Control C, Control F and just copy this. And what I want to do is drag this gradient down. And in order to make a clipping mask, the shape you want to make a mask of, you've got to make it in front. So press Control Shift, um, right square bracket. And you can see now that this shape's in front of our gradient. What I want to do is you select that and the gradient and then press Control 7 or Command 7. And now we have a clipping mask. If you don't have a shortcut key, you can just go to object, clipping mask, and go make. And that will do the same thing. So yeah, this is how you make clipping mask. And you can see now the gradient is within this square shape. And in order to edit um, the gradient, if you want to go inside, we select the, the shape. And you can see at the top left-hand corner where my mouse is, you'll see it's a clip group. And we have two options. You can edit the clipping path or you can edit the contents. So if I, if I click um, edit content, we can go in here and now I can edit this gradient. We can make it bigger, do whatever we want, change the color, change the uh, opacity, whatever we want. So it's really handy. Clipping mask, you know, flexible. Um, you can manipulate things, you know, how you want it and how you like. Um, I'm just going to lock this gradient and then I still have this shape. I'm just going to copy that again and bring it in front. So to change the color so you can see it. So we have this in front. And I'm just going to bring this texture. So maybe you have a texture um, or a brush and it's outside the zone you want it to be. And you want to keep it clean. You don't want files hanging out everywhere off your artboards. Um, this is a good way to do it. So I'm going to select the shape, select the texture, press Control 7 again. And now we have this texture. And I can go in there and edit it, make it bigger if I want. And you can see there we've got an overlay effect because I've set it to um, overlay. Um, and we can always go back and edit it like that and it'll be within that shape. If I want to get the texture out of there, what I can do is go Object, Clipping Mask, Release, or you can go Alt, Control, 7, or Command, um, sorry, Option, um, Command, 7. Just like that, and it will release it, and you can just, you know, use it as you would before and get rid of it, and you have your shape there and your texture. So that's how you use Clipping Mask. You can also use it with Type as well. You can see here, I made a Clipping Mask um, with a photo and this. Um, I'll just get out of it just to show you. So I've got a photo here. Um, and I've got type here. So what I did, I got the type and then I made it into a um, an outline and then I made it into a compound path. And then I selected this and I got the image, selected this and then made it into a clipping mask, as you can see. And then I can go here, make it bigger like that. So it's really handy. You can do a lot of things in Illustrator. Um, it's super handy, super good. And here I made a clipping mask as well. And you can see you can move it. Um, I can go in there and edit the type. You can see I can move the type around. And it's going to stay within that square shape, which is that clipping mask. So that's how you use clipping mask, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you liked it or not. And don't forget to subscribe for more design content every week.